Oh, I think I'm live. <laughs> yes, I am live. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. I see uh, some of uh, familiar faces here. Hulk Mode, of course, is here. Healthy Boy. Vincent William. Michael Cicer. Cicer or Cicery. Uh, Yolo, Jess, and Shaggy. That man in skill. Uh huh. Oh, Aditi is here, David. In my channel, I see Swamp, DNKY411, Ashton Rain. So thank you so much. Austin the Doc is here. Uh, for those of you who do not know, I am also live streaming this in my uh, in my own channel, Mrs. D and More. And I understand it is it has a better video quality because I am doing this on my cell phone 8, iPhone 8, I mean. <laughs> so I think the iPhone 8 has better quality. Of course, it's updated compared to my uh, eight-year-old computer. So anyway, uh, hello, everyone. Yeehaw is here. The camera isn't working in the other stream. Oh, it isn't? Oh, I am so sorry. I don't know why it's not working. I'm glad you told me that. Uh, Yeho. Okay, let's see. As most of you already know, we just moved. We moved today, so I'm not sure why my camera is not working here in Johnny D's channel. But if you could uh, move to my channel, Mrs. D and more. You will see it very clearly. The video quality is really good. I do not understand why the camera is not working <laughs> right now. So, and I don't know how to fix it. Ah, why is it not working? <laughs> I'm so sorry to all the Johnny D fans in his channel that my camera is not working right now. And, but do you, do you hear me? Yeah, Maria Herrera is saying, can't see anything, can't see a thing. We were listening, okay. Uh -huh. So in Johnny D's channel, can you at least hear me? I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on, why the, why the camera is not working. But like I mentioned, if, oh, thank you, Jimmy Boy, for letting me know that you can, uh, that I can be heard. Again, if you cannot, uh, I mean, I'm sure, uh, it's, it's for everybody. Um, if, if it's possible for you to go to my channel so that you can see me and you can see my new place. We just moved. Worldwide Gaming X, say you love me. Say you love me. Anyway, this is my new place. I still don't have my TV yet. It's still there. And I have about 26 U-Hold boxes, medium, large, and extra large um, sizes that I need to unpack. It's going to be a long night for me. <laughs> Again, I am so sorry to those who are in Johnny D's channel that you cannot see me. I really do not know how to fix it right now, why my um, camera is not working. The only thing I did was to move from the old house to our new apartment, set up my computer the same way I did, and now it's wor not, not working, so I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Anyway, uh, like I said, you can go to my channel, Mrs. D and more. Is your new house bigger than the old one? Um, this one is on the fourth floor, and it's, it's quite big. Okay, check if the camera is off or not plugged in. But it did not plug in. It's a built-in. It's a built-in camera, and I didn't do anything but uh, unplug it in the old house and plug it in here in the new apartment. So I'm so sorry that it's not working. Thank you, Perla Rodriguez. Anyway, I would like to let everybody know that due to the move that we did today, I was only able to see Johnny D. Later tonight, around 7 o'clock, I brought the two kids who have been very, very helpful to me in this move. I have my, my youngest uh, biological son. He's 31 years old. He was the one who, um, who drove the U-Haul truck. He brought with him two of his co-workers. So I had three, 
help from three big guys and then myself, of course, and Michael and Justin. So I thought it would not take too long because there's six of us. <laughs> and but then it turned out we started around 9.30 and we finished about 5.30, about seven hours. So, but anyway, I'm glad that we have moved already. And so as soon as everything has been uh, put inside the apartment, I said, um, we are going to be, we are going to be, uh, we are going to, I'm sorry, I'm reading your email, uh, your comments. So, oh, thank you, Viri Memes, the Roblox game place and more. Thank you for the uh, super chat. Here's some money for Johnny D. We donate on the GoFundMe to, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm sure Johnny D. will appreciate that very much. Um, so as I was saying, as soon as uh, all the all the uh, all our things are inside the apartment, um, I told the kids that we gotta go see their dad because he has been waiting the whole day. And the the biggest challenge we had in moving our things here is my massage chair because I have a big massage chair and it won't fit in the um, uh, it won't fit on the door. <laughs> My, my massage chair is so big, and I don't know how these three wonderful guys figured it out. But at the end, um, but they, you know, when they're about to leave, they were almost going to give up. And then they tried one more time, and they were able to actually bring the massage chair inside. So right now, my living room is full of uh, stuff in the middle and a lot of boxes. So... Hopefully, when I get done with this, I can be uh, I can be with Johnny D uh, with uh, more more time for him. He knows that we are moving. Actually, when I went to see him, I said, "Hey, look at you! You're getting better. You're ready. Uh, uh, we have moved to our new apartment. You know, because um, he knows that it's on a fourth uh, fourth floor. So I was telling him stories like." how we were bringing all the stuff together. And I said, see, you're going to be in our new apartment pretty soon. And he said, uh, where are my keys? I said, well, they're, they're in my place. Uh, I, I, I put them in a safe place. Well, you got to go get them. And I said, why? Why would you need the keys? I'm going to the karaoke bar. <laughs> I said, not today or not tonight. And he was like, it's usually a Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I said, yes, but uh, you're not going yet because you're still in the hospital. And he was like, oh. <laughs> He's like, he realized he's still in the hospital because <laughs> he thought he wasn't in the hospital anymore. He's still a little bit confused, but, but that's just okay. And um, the nurse, when he saw the two boys, uh, he, he asked Johnny B., if he knows these two boys who's visiting him. And he said, yes. And then the, the, the nurse said, are, are they your kids? Yes. So what's the name of the big, the, the, uh, the tall one? He said, Michael. And what about this younger one? And he, he couldn't remember. <laughs> he couldn't remember uh, Justin's name. So he was thinking. We, we gave him a little bit of time to think. And when he couldn't, I said, it starts with a J. J. And then the nurse was like, okay, what's his name? You got to tell me, what's your son's name? And it was like, J, J. I said, just, just. And he still didn't get it. So the nurse asked my son, what's your name? Justin. Oh, Justin. His name is Justin. Don't you remember? His name is Justin. So it's like, so I know that he's still a little bit confused, but he's so much better. He can talk clearly. He could tell me what he needs. And he was actually able to FaceTime with his son in, in San Antonio. And um, that was really nice because I'm thinking, you know, in maybe a, um, a couple of days, he would be able to go to the rehab, which he doesn't know yet until now. Because as far as he knows, he's going home. He actually thought he was home already. So uh, after that, uh, once he's discharged, he's going to a 
short-term rehab facility. From Lawrence, that's good to hear that John is much better. Thank you so much. Uh, on the fourth floor from Rocket to Mars. Yeah, we're on the fourth floor. Elizabeth, black screen. Yes, it's black screen today. <laughs> Aiden's angel, I pray for him as long as I can. Thank you so much for that. Refresh this page four times from Mob Killer B. Uh, I'm glad that it sounds like it's getting better at least. Thank you. Um, why is there a black screen? <laughs> yes, it's all black screen. I'm so sorry to those who are in Johnny Lee's channel. Uh, I actually just um, turned on my, uh, set up my computer, turned it on, and I didn't know why there is this problem. Thank you for the super chat, Nathan Fernandez. Thank you so much. And um, oh, I'm glad I'm live streaming this uh, at the same time in my channel because then uh, at least you will be able to see what's uh, what's happening. <laughs> you can see our new place. Um, I do not understand. Honestly, I do not understand what went wrong. I was all set. I saw the I saw my thumbnail. I thought everything would be working good, but um, you know. <laughs> Does anyone else hate elevators from hot mode? You know, this elevator here in this apartment is really, really slow. Like, slow, slow. <laughs> Can you stream with your phone through Johnny D's channel? Uh, I could do that, but then I will have to stop this live stream and get another phone and, and try to, to start it all over again. So I'm, I'm just going to check what's, what went wrong tonight. and. Hopefully, this will not happen again tomorrow night. Anyway, I would like to continue with all these letters of support and love that I've been getting from, from everybody. So please allow me to read the next letter. Uh, I stopped yesterday with uh, Shomara Hoffman. So the next one is coming from Watery Juice. Watery Juice. And he said... Um, Dear Mrs. D, how are you? You may know me as Watery Juice on YouTube. I watch your streams as soon as I'm available. I understand if you don't see this, you must be full of fans supporting you and Johnny B, but I will still try. Good job. Dealing with Johnny's pain, moving, and kids must be very stressful, and I'm sorry you have to deal with that. I'm glad that you're trying and continuing with Johnny's medicine. He seems better now since he's not in the ICU anymore, but with your recent stream, that one that says he wants to divorce you, the medicine seems to be affecting Johnny's mental state. I'm not really sure, but I'll use my experience as an example. My mom, about three years ago, was diagnosed with breast cancer and had to take chemotherapy. After her breast cancer was cured, she acted, she acted more angry and more irrational. My dad also noticed it and told me that it was because of all her medicine. Anyways, if you have gotten this far, thank you for reading. I can't donate yet. I'm pretty young. I haven't graduated high school yet. You are both in my prayers, and I hope the best for the both of you as the year goes on. I like to think of you guys as an extended family. Oh, that's so sweet. As an extended family since I live far from my family. If you see any haters, most of them hate to gain attention and a reaction, so I'd suggest to ignore them or do whatever you feel is necessary. Thank you, love, watery juice. Thank you so much, uh, watery juice, for that very nice letter of yours. Anyway, I would like to read the next one, which is coming from um, Quebec. Is it Quebec or Quebec or Quebec Gaming? Hi, Mrs. D. This isn't something I really do, but I wanted to write you a little letter of support. I live in Quebec. Is that Quebec or Quebec in Canada? <laughs> and here you and Johnny are local legends. Ooh. Me and my friends watch all your streams and videos. We don't talk much in your streams because we are native friends, so some of us aren't really good English speakers. Anyways, I just wanted to tell you to keep being strong and all that you have, all the support from all 191,000 of us. Thank you for brightening my days. Your friend's, fr your friend, friend's fan, Derek. 
Okay, my, I have a French fan. That is so nice, so cool. Thank you so much, Derek, for the letter of support. Another one is uh, from, uh, what's his name? Re oh, from Reagan J, our very own Reagan J. Hi, Mrs. D. This is Reagan J from YouTube. I can't make it to streams for a while, but I want you to know that you're in my heart and in my prayers. The whole Discord is here for you. You've been really great and helped me when times were rough. So I'm here to make sure you know that no matter what we're here, no matter what, we're here for you too. I hope Johnny is all right, and I hope you are too. You're both so strong, and I know you'll make it through this. Still, you'll have me and your other fans with you every step of the way. We're praying for you. You're in my heart and my mind, and I swear that no matter what happens, the Discord and I are here for you and Johnny unconditionally. That is so sweet, Reagan. Thank you so much. While I'm reading this letter of yours, I'm imagining your face because now at least I know you because you sent a video before. So it's really nice if if um, if you're sending uh, some videos because I, I, I know I could picture you in, a, in my mind like this one from Reagan J. So thank you again. The next one is from Pub217217 VDFG. And it said, Mrs. D, Mrs. I hope Johnny gets well. Don't listen to the haters. They just want something to hate on. They probably probably think it's fake when it's clearly not, since there are a lot of liars on YouTube, so it's hard to trust people, or they just want to be cruel. Don't listen to them. Also, ban people in the chat who are being rude and get your admins to ban on your other channel. Also tell everyone why Johnny's channel has ads on it. Say the ads are to raise money for Johnny. Also do not bring up the haters since that's what they want. Just block them and don't say anything. I will listen to you. Bob, thank you so much for this letter of support. So, um, <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm looking at Johnny this uh, Johnny this live streaming right now. <laughs> Somebody says, what the F is this? <laughs> what the F? <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's really <laughs> Maybe you have never seen a live stream with a black screen. How about that? This is a first. Yeah, the angry Australian, you can't see anything. <laughs> Why is Mogar the the ma ones is saying I like your nose? <laughs> the screen is black. I am so so sorry. <laughs> Why black screen from Strictly? The screen is black from Tipier Panda. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> The Nude Potato, we're listening to your beautiful voice. Thank you so much for that. At least you can listen to, to my voice. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, at least you're still there. You haven't left. Um. <laughs> uh -huh. There you go. I am watching. I'm, I'm reading your comments. Um, and, and I've been reading your comments since the very beginning. Betty Mayo, hi there. Um, I will read another letter. It is coming from Safiria. Safiria. <laughs> Mrs. D, I'd like you to know that we support you and we'll be here for you no matter what happens. I hope very dearly that Johnny gets well soon. He needs you to be strong for him when he's going through this. So please keep your spirits up and know that we'll have your back. You are trying your best, and that's what counts. Please ignore those who play the Internet with hate messages. Most of them are ignorant and too blind to see that what they are doing is harmful and wrong. They are only trying to get attention, and if everyone ignores them, they'll go away. Don't believe what they say because we all know that you are doing your best to help Sincerely, Marilia. Oh, I think that's her real name. So thank you so much for that. 
I, I'm still, <laughs> I'm sorry to those who are in Janity's channel. It's still all black screen and I can't do anything for now. So I will just continue this, uh, reading these letters. The next one is from Benjamin J. Praying for Johnny D. Hey, Mrs. D, this is Benju from YouTube. Just wanted to let you know that I'm praying for Johnny D and that he will have fast recovery. God bless. Thank you so much, Benjamin. You see, the reason I think why Johnny D got, really got better is because of all this uh, support coming from you, all the love or all this um, prayers. So thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is a radio show now <laughs> from Hot <Hulk> Mode. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a radio show, so let's just imagine. Okay, just imagine that you are you are listening to the radio back in the 1960s. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, when the nurse asked what day it is, when he asked Johnny D, he said uh, it's 1990. So he still thinks it's in the 1990s. So um, well, at least he's doing a lot better now. Is Johnny still saying that stuff? What stuff? Um, he's doing fine. He's doing better. So, oh, Johnny's still saying the stuff about him wanting to die. Actually not. And that's good. He doesn't want, he's not saying those things anymore, you know, that he wanted to die, to go get a gun and shoot me, that I, that, you know, I will divorce you as soon as I get out of here. No, none of those anymore. He's going back to his normal self. And actually, he's going beyond that because right now he thinks he is going to the karaoke bar and was actually asking for his car keys. And when I looked at him and asked, why do you need the keys? He said, well, I'm going to the bar. It's usually Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So I'm saying, okay, but not now. Uh, you you go there maybe when you get uh, a lot better. So we'll 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 just wait. Johnny D is gonna be back to his uh, old self again. <laughs> Another letter from Thao Nguyen. Hey Mrs. D, I emailed you about this before, and you said that you saw it on a live stream. I have found a solution for not getting a no notification from YouTube after passing 100,000 subscribers. Many creators have had this issue, actually. All you need to do is to contact the YouTube creator support and tell them your concerns and ask about the silver play button. There is a possibility that they will give you a redemption code to put into your website. Just look up YouTube support email and click the first link. After that, choose your platform and follow the directions. I really, really ap appreciate this. Uh, so much help from Sao Nguyen. And actually, Sao... I already emailed them so many times, and also Johnny D has emailed us uh, YouTube support. Unfortunately, nothing has happened. We never heard anything from them, uh, so we just gave up. <laughs> we just gave up. Uh huh. If you need a mod, I'm here, not begging, just saying so I can help control chat. Thank you, Pirate12. So anyway, like I always say, if you are here, in my live stream, don't don't um, don't limit yourself to just listening to me or watching me. Please, uh, like most of you are doing, chat with each other, say hi, hello, you know, and have that that nice conversation with everybody. Michelle is also asking, why is the screen black? I'm sorry, my camera is not uh, working today. We just moved from our old house to the new apartment. And when I started to live stream, I don't know what's going on. And it's just all black. And like Hot Mode said, this is now a radio, <laughs> radio station. I remember um, Ro Robin Williams. Robin Williams in that show when he would say, hello, Vietnam. <laughs> That's the title of that one. So, um, Robin Williams is one of my favorites. Anyway, I will read one last letter from 
Karina Handel. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I will be reading nine more letters tomorrow. I just want to finish this because I started it, so I just want to finish it. So tomorrow there's nine more letters that I wanted to read. In the meantime, this is the last one from Karina Hundal or Karina Hundal. Dear Mrs. D, uh, from Healthy Boy, can you read mine in the next stream? Definitely, yeah, I will read yours tomorrow uh, when I live stream. So anyway, um, the one coming from Karina Hundal and she said, Dear Mrs. D, I had just learned of the hardships that you and Johnny D are having. My grandpa, my grandpa had a stroke last year and it was hard for my family and I. We had to visit him in the hospital and bring him items just like you are doing now. I felt like I should have spoken up about his drinking problem, but because I am the only one he listens to, before because I am the only one he listens to, okay? I understand that you are going through a rough time and that you probably blame yourself, but don't. You are doing all that you can right now. It does not matter if you could have prevented it. It only matters that you are working to make it better now. Just know that you are doing all that you can do and that is more than enough. I hope that your husband gets better and that you stop feeling guilty about this. You and Johnny are in my thoughts and prayers. Love an understanding fan and all those hearts of different colors. So thank you so much, Karina Hundel. And that is really very inspiring. So let me go back to this uh, black screen in Johnny D. D Radio. <laughs> When will be the next stream? It's going to be tomorrow. Hopefully, I can go back to my regular live streaming at 6 and 10. Um, hopefully, tomorrow, 6 and 10, because I have a lot of um, uh, thanking to do to all the fans uh, uh, of Johnny D who have been sending all their love and support. Uh, does Mr. D have a favorite football team? Yes, uh, it's the Chicago Bears. And also the, here in Jacksonville, what's the name of that? Jaguars, I think. Yeah. So actually when he was, he was a little conscious at one time, he was watching the Philadelphia versus Chicago Bears. And he knows that Chicago Bears lost in the game. <laughs> Sky Lemon, yes, everything is okay now. So thank you so much. Um, Hey, we love that bastard. Keep him alive by any means necessary. Thank you, Henry Stees. Hey, Mrs. D, hope things turn out right. Thank you, Jeremy M03. Yo, 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 what happened, bro? From offended one. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, a lot of people are wondering why my, my screen is all black. I'm sorry, <laughs> and I can't do anything right now. Actually, I'm trying to see my, now my uh, my Chrome computer froze. <laughs> so this is my new bedroom. Actually, not a bedroom. It's um, like a my study room, my uh, my computer room. Are you guys moving from Brandon Garcia? Brandon, we just moved today. Yep, Healthy Boy said yes, they already did. We, we did today. We, at, um, I had the help of three strong guys. <laughs> so we finished it in seven hours. Do an episode of MTV Cribs. What is that, Hot Mode? What is MTV Cribs? I'm not familiar. Educate me, please. Uh, Kitty503, I mean, kind of talking in the fan squad chat. So, okay. Johnny is a true nine year old from Pirates 12. Thank you. I can tell you're a Filipino. I ate your cookie. Thank you. Yes, you are right. <laughs> Guys, it is a radio show. That is why from Pirates 12. <laughs> ASMR, amazing. Hi there. Why did you move from Nick Xian? Okay, the reason why we moved is because we wanted the kids to be in a better school 
district. Hello, MTV. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, we, we wanted to have the kids a better school because the school that they were they are attending right now is a D school. D out of A, B, C, D. <laughs> uh, so that's like a one out of five star. Uh, can you do a house tour from Brandon Garcia? Sure, why not? As soon as I finished... Um, putting the things in their proper places. Actually, I have a big problem right now. And I was telling Johnny D when I went there in the hospital, I said, because um, he was telling me to, to buy a new dining a kitchen, a dining set, a new dining set, because ours is already old. It's, um, it's been gone a long time ago, and we actually did have a nice dining set where he could comfortably sit on. We just have this little uh, tiny table with two chairs. And so he said, um, he asked me to find a cheap dining dining room set. Yeah, dining, dining room set. So when I talked to him this, uh, this visit that we had uh, just uh, around seven, seven or eight, I told him there's no place for the dining set. <laughs> Because we have two couch, <clears throat> we have two couch, and I if, if I put the couch in one in the living room, then where am I going to put the other couch? But the kitchen or the dining area. So, also if you don't mind, a setup to building a new rig and need inspiration. Okay, so like yeah, um, I don't know how I can fit in a dining table. So. Stack the couches, yeah. <laughs> Stack the couches. Oh, uh, what am I gonna do? Uh, yeah, I was telling him uh, we might not, you know, maybe I'll just get these high chairs and then you can eat there by this thing that surrounds the the kitchen area. I'm not really sure because right now, <laughs> get rid of the kitchen. Yeah, get rid of the kitchen. Because, you know, the reason why we have two couches is because I, I bought one for, for, for the whole family to put in the living room. But Johnny D likes to sleep in the couch. He sleeps more in the couch than on the bed. He's just so used to it. So he has his own couch where he usually sleeps because he likes falling asleep while watching TV. So we have two couches. And now that we have this apartment, I don't know where to put the other one. <laughs> anyway, Brady83194, hi there. Um, get well soon, Johnny D. Go get that dining set and treat yourselves from Morgan Road. And actually, we um, donated two cups of coffee to Johnny. Hope he gets better ASAP. Thank you, Aunt S. By the way, for those of you who do not know, Johnny D also has a Patreon account, and this buy me a coffee. I think that's what you were telling telling us about the buy me a, a, the two cups of coffee. Uh, oh, Waffers hasn't known yet that Johnny D has been hospitalized. Waffers, Johnny D has been in the hospital for twelve days now, or eleven, eleven days, going twelve. Couches are good from half mode. Don't have to sleep on the couch. I don't have a bed. <laughs> well, Johnny B always falls asleep in the couch. So Amanda, hello there. Hi, Lil Terrorist. I'm glad you're still here. So again, before I end this live stream, I would like to apologize to those who are in Johnny B's channel that you only have a black screen. This is going to be a first, you know. <laughs> Hey, Johnny D live streaming on a black screen. <laughs> again, so sorry for that. And thank you. Thank you once again for being there for us all the time. Uh, like my grandpa always sleeps in the recli recliner instead of a bed. Yes, I don't know why. When people grow old, they like to, to sleep on the recliner instead of the bed. <laughs> Brandon Garcia, we love you all. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye there. So thank you, everybody, once again, for being here. Thank you to my moderators for being here and watching over this live stream. And I will see you again, hopefully, at 6 and at 10. I'm going to try to make this 
uh, my my regular time uh, back to its normal time slot, which is six and ten. So again, everybody, thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow and give you more updates. And I might even sing tomorrow. I'm planning to sing a song for you once my uh, TV has been set up. So anyway, for now, bye-bye, everybody. I love you all. Virtual hugs and kisses from me and Johnny. Thank you for all, all the love, the care, the support, the GoFundMe donations, the super chats. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Later, later, everybody, and no peace, everyone.